at least I took a chance. I had to let it go. Elevator goes up. Elevator come down and you just go with the flow till you beat it back on the ground. It's an endless ride. Sometimes it takes you up. This is just too cool. Not every day you get to talk to a big star like David Archuleta. David, good morning. How are you? Oh, good morning, Dinwall. Thanks. Getting close to Christmas time. Are you planning on heading on home to Utah to spend some time with family? You know what? I'm actually already in Utah. So it's it's great. We're going to have a bunch of family coming in. We already have some family, have more family coming in today. And uh, it's just, exci- uh, you know, it's all about the family during holidays, I think. So it's great. You had a chance to rub shoulders with Arnold Schwarzenegger with that uh, tree lighting ceremony not too long ago. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I sang at the the Sacramento State Capitol tree lighting, and it was it was great. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger is really nice, and his wife Maria Shriver's really cool too. So um, you know, he's just a really friendly kind of happy, you know, go lucky kind of guy. He's it was it was really cool. He didn't ask you to do a duet with him by any chance. That would have just been miserable. <laughs> No, you didn't. That would have been interesting, though. You know, I don't know about you, David, but I got a D minus in high school in French class. I took French, but you sang oh, uh, "Pat a Pan." How tough is it to sing a, a oh. French carol like that? Oh, um, <laughs> well, yeah, I, I sing. I sing just the first verse in French, but uh, um, it was. I mean, it was interesting. I I feel like. Uh, you know, I, I just wonder if I'm always wondering, like, oh, I wonder if there are any French people out there listening, because I, I just don't know how you know how good it sounds really. Because I didn't, I didn't even take French or anything. That was the first time I learned any French, learning those words. But it was really cool. I mean, it's um, it's it's one of my favorite songs on the Christmas album that I did last year, Christmas from the Heart, and uh, it's it. it it's just a really fun song to get to do. We kind of put our own little twist on it. Well, we're really excited about New Year's Eve. You're going to be live on Fox. What do we have in store? Yeah, it, it'll be New Year's Live on Fox, and it, it'll be airing New Year's Eve, or, um, you know, like 11, 11.30, and uh, I'll be singing a couple of songs from the, from my new album, The Other Side of Down, and it'll, it'll just be fun. They'll be having other performers and stuff, you know, like Travis McCoy will be there and, and other performers, and it, it should be a good time. It'll be at, in Las Vegas at the Mandalay Bay. I uh, saw you perform your Elevator song on uh, the Wendy Williams show, and that sounds like a really <laughs> fun song uh, to put together. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's that, that was a fun song just because it was a song that I was not expecting anything to really happen with. It was... It was literally about a dream I had the night or or two before, and it was just like, I just, let's just do this for fun, and you know now, and that it ended up being on the new album, and so it was just it's just a, a fun fun song, and I felt like it was just something different that I could do, and um, it's just kind of a song about life and just how it takes you up and down, but. It still gives you butterflies and stuff, and that's, you know, it's just about that, um, just that, you know, that kind of journey you go on in life. So it's kind of a quirky song. I understand you've wrote most of the songs on uh, this new album of Other Side of Down. What is the songwriting process like for you? Is it easy? Is it hard? Uh, you know, I, it's it's really a challenge for me. It's definitely not my not something that just comes to me like that you know in a in a flash or anything it it takes time and i think the biggest challenge for me is just being patient with it because i've never been good with words and being able to really describe things especially in a song where you have just you have a you know few verses to really define what you want to say and it's like okay this is the message I want to give off and this is what I want to express and, and it's just in a few lines and you have to be very expressive and emotional in those few lines it's you know very po- you know kind of poetic and so for me it's like I either talk way too much or I don't say anything I don't know what to say at all so I've never been good with words and that's so that's the challenge that comes but you know it's 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 fun it's really great to 
be able to say your own message and your own, give your own story to people. We've got a new and revised season of American Idol with no Simon Cowell. Uh, what's your thoughts on the, the new season of American Idol? Uh, well, I think it'll be really interesting. The, you know, them bringing two two more artists in, uh, Jennifer Lopez and Steven Tyler, and they're both very experienced. They both have really, they're both really household names in, in the music in business and in the music world. So I, I think it'll be a, an interesting twist. You know, Jennifer Lopez being Hispanic and Steven Tyler being from Aerosmith. So uh, I think they'll bring different audiences in too, which will be interesting. When you were on American Idol, your most memorable Simon Cowell moment. Man, I, one time... I remember one time he was. He said like it sounded like it's. It's. He said it sounded like there were all these like st- I don't know stuffed animals around me and and stuff. I remember I that. I don't know. <laughs> I yeah. That. So so it was kind of it was kind of funny, but uh, I mean it's also memorable when he says nice things too. So it's just like wow. So, uh, but I guess the stuffed animals thing really sticks out to me because. Um, I don't know. It kind of, I don't know. <laughs> it just does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that he was he was saying something like to the effect that uh, I don't know if it brings back bad memories for you or not, but he said something to the effect like you're a kitten who wants to be a lion or something like that. Oh, do you remember that? Oh yeah, <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I think that was another time. Um, but yeah, it's like uh, uh, he was. I mean, he was for the most part. It wasn't too like he didn't. It wasn't too bad. It's actually good when he says things that encourage you and say, like, okay, I need to need to do better next time and I want to you know want to give a good a good enough performance where Simon doesn't have to say anything negative <laughs> so David Archuleta we appreciate you stopping by here in Minnesota and your new album Other Side of Down you're also going to be on uh, New Year's Eve live on Fox and we just appreciate you so much stopping by this morning oh yeah well thank you